Do you know why it's impossible to lick the tips of your elbows? They hold the secret to immortality. So if you could lick them, there's a chance you'd be able to live forever. But if everyone could actually lick the tips of their elbows, then there'd be chaos. Because you can't just go on living and living and living. I'm in a relationship, so yeah. I was just making conversation. Sure. Do you know why it's impossible to lick the tips of your elbows? They hold the secret to immortality. So if you could lick them, there's a chance you'd be able to live forever. But if everyone could actually lick the tips of their elbows, then there'd be chaos. I've just come out of a very serious relationship, so... Yeah. I'm just trying to start a conversation. Sure. Your elbows, try licking them. I'm Roland. I'm Marianne. Try licking them. I see what you mean. I'm Marianne. Roland. Do you know why it's impossible to lick the tips of your elbows? They hold the secret to immortality. So if you could lick them, there's a chance you'd be able to live forever. But if everyone could actually lick the tips of their elbows, then there'd be chaos because you can't just go on living and living and living. Try it. Hi, I'm Kimberly Hamilton. Hi, I'm Michael Howell. And we are producing the show Constellations by Nick Payne. Yes, we are self-producing the show. Um, we got the idea, what, about three months ago? Mm -hmm. uh, read through it. It's a fantastic play if you've never read it. Uh, or if you want to just come see it, you can come see us do it. Um, we will be doing it in Kirkwood. At Indigo Yoga Studio, which is one of the yoga studios where I teach it's a great little area. It's got a fun little eclectic vibe. And the show runs November 30th through December 16th, so the first three weekends in December. Constellations is a play written by Nick Payne. It was first produced in 2012. So it's about a human connection that uh, exists in parallel universes. It's all about uh, physics and quantum you know, mechanics and uh, space and time. A lot of hippy dippy stuff. The thing that's different about this show is we're doing it with multiple directors. So, multiple universes, multiple directors. Yes, yeah, different points of view, and we're going to see what happens. Action! Hi, I'm Ashley Heath, and I'm one of the directors for Constellation. My name is Adal Drejos, and I'm one of the collaborating directors on Constellations. Hey guys, Rashik here. I'm really looking forward to directing my portion of Constellations. I'm Sarah, and I'm really excited to be directing one of the scenes from Constellations. My name is Bimberly Schmamilton, and I am directing a scene in Constellations. I accepted this piece because Kimberly and Michael got down on their hands and knees and begged and cried for my intellectual genius. It's, it's not a film. It's a play. Uh, but you, you still want me to direct? My name's John Jarrett. I'm a director. I'm a film director. My name is Russell McLaughlin. I'm a composer and songwriter from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm happy to be contributing music for Constellations. What is really uh, exciting to me is, first of all, how Kimberly and Michael have decided to do this unconventional piece in such an unconventional way. I love that Kimberly and Michael are putting this show up at Indigo Yoga in Kirkwood. I think that it's exciting to put theater up in non-traditional theatrical spaces, and I think uh, there needs to be more of that in Atlanta. Um, the thing that I'm really excited about being a part of it is that it is a challenge as a director uh, to explore this idea of a multiverse and many things happening simultaneously. Do the tiny little individual decisions that we make every day, how weighty are they? Do they change the trajectory of our lives or do we end up in the same place ultimately? Like is love something that's going to draw us to one another no matter what and even if we take different paths to get there. We say one thing, if we do one thing differently then it could change out the out outcome. It just so happens that both Kimberly and I are 200 hour uh, yoga instructors. So the idea of incorporating movement, specifically yoga, into the scene is a fabulous challenge. It was like 
a lot of words. Nick Payne writes words that deal with, on a large level, string theory, multi-universe theory, parallel universes, perhaps. I love the questions it brings about parallel universes, the questions it draws about fate. The writer uh, explores that very basic human question of what if, uh, you know, what could have been. It really explores that what if moment in the what if person. If you had a second chance for that person, you always wonder, you know, could they have been the one? Would you jump on that second chance? Would you take it? Constellation really delves into that by telling the, uh, a character story about just two people. I want to do something different. He said, John, you can do whatever you want. It's a great honor for me, Michael, to have you, John, directing something for my theater piece. And I said, well, Michael, I want to do this. This is what I want to do. I want to direct one word, just a single word. I thought it was a really interesting project. There are two great actors that I'm excited to work with. They're probably two of the worst actors I've ever seen in my whole life. And I think that the um, actors have to embark on that journey almost simultaneously with the audience. It's groundbreaking. It's uh, new edge theater, new age. It's like the, on the cutting edge. And that sort of unification, that sort of like digging in and grounding process is I think what really brings this whole concept together. So I thought it might be a fun challenge to see if I could pull some type of honest performance out of these horrible actors, because if I can, then that means I might have a future in directing. You gotta make it to the show. If you can't, there might be another you enjoying it for you. It's like the new Shakespeare. It's like, you know, even Shakespeare couldn't have done this. You should come see it. Can I bring this? One dollar, you get a special thanks to the program. For five dollars, you get a special thanks. You also get a personalized email from Kim and myself thanking you. For ten dollars, you get, you get that plus a social media shout out. You also get a free kombucha if you come to the show. From Lupus Kitchen. Yes, kombucha is a healthy probiotic beverage. It's really good for the gut. For uh, $25, you get all of those things that I just mentioned, plus either a chess lesson or a tennis lesson. He's actually a pro at both, believe it or not. So. Yes. For a $35 donation, you get this fun little scavenger hunt in Kirkwood by Clue Town. So you can run around Kirkwood and explore the area with this fun little scavenger hunt. It's a fun area to explore. Cluetownbooks.com. You can check them out. They're very, very cool. Okay. For a $50 donation, you get $50 of a yoga lesson, a singing lesson, pottery lesson, or meditation. Or body work. $75, you can get 75 minutes of any and all of the above. Meditation, yoga lesson, pottery lesson, singing lesson, um, and you can combine any of those, so. And for a $100 donation, let you have any one of the perks that we mentioned, and you get two free tickets to the show, plus a producer credit. So we hope to see you there. Uh, if you do decide to donate, we greatly, greatly Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Namaste. Okay, that's good.